This is Dave Daly for DowntownSalemBusinessDistrict.com. We're here tonight at the Radius 25 Art Exhibit. We have with us here a local Salem artist, Nancy Yang, and she won tonight uh, one of the awards. And Nancy, um, how do you feel about being here? I'm excited. I had no idea. I came late for the awards and walked in the door. They said I won something, and it's like shock. <laughs> Congratulations. And this is her painting, uh, her, her artwork. And Nancy, for audiences, take us through what this is and how, how it came to be. Um, this is an oil and cold wax medium. Um, I, I developed this through a lot of photos that I take and sketches and just my imagination. Uh, it, it changed as I went along the process. Um, a lot of surprises in this process <laughs> happened, so what I initially entailed it to be turned out a lot different. Um, I like a lot of textures. So I put those in, and colors, I tried to coordinate those, and, but um, it turned out pretty good. I was pretty pleased with it, so. Now these uh, materials came from right here in Salem at our art department supply with Katie Viglin, and uh, what were the materials that you used to create this uh, piece of art? Uh, it's pretty simple. It's oil and, and cold wax, so it's, it's a cold wax. Uh, which is um, uh, paraffin, um, beeswax with some resin in it, and then with oil paints mixed in. Um, wow. So you get the texture and the luminosity, and you, it's a lot of layering, so drying in between the layers, putting texture in, subtracting, um, taking away. Wow. So it, it, it's a little process. <laughs> it's something you can't just sit down and do for you know, a couple of hours, it's a couple of days, or a couple of weeks. So this piece here for our audience is it's a, a couple week process of different layers of going away, having it dry, coming back another application? Right, right. There may be 20 to 25 layers on this piece. Wow. So. And uh, for audiences, you can take a class from Nancy at Arts Department Supply, and you can register on uh, the website there. Is that the case? Um, you need to call the store and sign up over the phone. Um, yeah, it, it's on the website now under the classes. And uh, September 1st, I, or the 3rd, I believe, is the next class I'll be teaching. Wonderful. So. And uh, for our young art audiences in this community, what should artists do to really grow? To really grow? Um, take classes, go to galleries, uh, get involved in art groups, um, associate yourself with artists, and just, just work and sketch and paint and do it all. <laughs> is there someone who you could acknowledge for having an impact on your ability to be an artist? Um, Katie Viglin, the owner of the art department, is a wonderful friend and great mentor and she helps me tremendously, so I can't say enough. Well, art is very social. Downtown Salem Art is very uh, collaborative and all the art galleries work together. We have a wonderful event, First Wednesdays. We're going to want you to look at that URL, firstwednesdays.com, and you'll see many artists in our whole downtown district. But from our community, congratulations, Nancy, for winning this evening. Thank you. And uh, thank you for interviewing with us here tonight. And should someone want to connect with you to buy this piece of art or other pieces, where can they learn more about your art business? Uh, you can go to my website, nancying.com, um, through the Salem Art Association here. would be the best. And, and what would you like to say to the Art Association for this event? Oh, what would I like to say? Thank you. <laughs> it's a great opportunity for artists in the area to gather and to show their work and, and to get a little recognition, I guess. And yes. yeah. Congratulations. And for more great stories happening here in downtown Salem, visit downtownsalembusinessdistrict.com. Thank you.